So as for the craft foam, we're going to want this to look a lot more like leather than craft foam. So what I like to do is get little pieces of tin foil crumpled up, put them on randomly, maybe even on top of each other, then get a clothing iron, and it doesn't really matter what heat setting you have it on, you just have to be careful you don't burn yourself. You just press it in, and if I bring it up close for you guys, you should be able to see it has a nice indentation. It's very hard to see, but once you paint it, these details will really be shown off. And this is really good for making Arrow's mask, because his mask is, well, it's supposed to be like leather. It looks like that. As for Arsenal and Red Arrow or Thea's mask, those are completely smooth. So now that you have your craft foam looking somewhat like leather, looking like leather, you want to get your template, trace it on, and cut it out. And if you're wondering where you can get this template, same thing as our last build, the Jager Flash Helmet, which is on the Facebook page. And now that you have that cut out, before you seal it with the Mod Podge, you're going to want to get a heat gun, a hair dryer. You don't even have to use them because of the shape of the template. But in some way, you want to stretch out the nose. This will make it so it will actually conform to somebody's face. You're also going to want to pull in the eyes. This will also help with conforming it to somebody's face. And I would recommend you use a heat gun, but a hair dryer works just as well. It's just that you do have to keep it quite far away and then bring it closer and bring the heat up because a hair dryer isn't that hot. So you kind of have to work with what you have. A good alternative would be to hold your craft foam over the stove or maybe put it in the oven. But it is very dangerous, it's very hot, and you have to be very careful with that. So once you're all done shaping it, you're going to want to get a razor blade. Uh, you could also use just the edge of scissors if you don't have one. And you want to carve in all of the details that are on the mask. This will be on the Facebook page as well. There's some arrows here, some details here, a detail here, and a detail here. And that's about it that we know of right now. And if there are any edits to the original mask, I will make an update to this video. But until then, I'm pretty sure I'm close enough. Now once you're all done with that, you just want to give it a quick coat of gloss Mod Podge. This will seal the foam and prepare it for paint. Now just give it a quick coat of black acrylic paint, and you might want to wipe off the excess and then do another coat and then wipe off the excess. That'll help in making it look like leather. Hey guys, so once you're all done your arrow mask and you want to start adhering it to your face, you could obviously use spirit gum, liquid latex, tons of stuff. I prefer to use just some clear school of glue because it's very easy to find where I am. You could also make this mask, you could take this a million different directions from where I based it. This is just how I decide to do it. As for applying it to your face, you might want to put some black makeup over your eyes. I'm not going to do it here because I don't have any but you want to start with the nose and then move your way around it. And I will really quickly show you when it is adhered onto my face. So here is the finished mask. Now what I love about this is that once you put the hood over, those strap pieces that we added earlier almost create the illusion that there's an actual strap going around. And the shadow created by the hood helps a ton. I'm not going to show you much of my arrow hood right now because it's still in the beta testing, but once that tutorial comes out, I'll probably show you a much better video with me actually with black eye makeup and everything. That'll look a lot better. Also, you want to make sure the glue is water soluble once it's cured because you want to be able to get this off without hurting yourself. Also, once you've gotten this off, clean your eyebrows because this glue gets all in them and it's nasty. Um, it's probably one of my favorite builds just because how easy it is and how cheap it is. This one costed me about $4, which is easily cheaper than Tiger Stone FX and their $30 latex masks with imperfections and everything. Uh, I wouldn't really consider this finished because I will want to add an actual elastic band. It won't be under any tension, it'll just add that extra authentic uh, authenticity that makes it look more like the actual one and that's about it this thing's almost done and i will also be making several more and if there's enough interest i will, might actually start selling these including 
Arsenal's uh, Red Arrow from New Season 4. And this is actually based off of Season 4, his mask from Season 4, and also Season 3 and Season 2, because it hasn't changed. But yeah, once I get that black makeup, I will put it over my eyes, put the mask on, take a photo, and I will sneak it in to my next video, which will probably be a compound bow tutorial. You know I made, I made a video a while ago about the bow and arrow, well now I'm showing you how to make a compound bow and arrow, so see you then. And also, thank you for 100 subscribers. I never knew I could make it here, but I'm here. And it's thanks to you guys. So thank you very much for 100 subscribers. See you next time. Bye. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. The things I do for YouTube.